I have two questions for you. Would is usually used in the conditional, but can it also be used in the past? Are used to and would exactly the same? In today's video, you're gonna find out. Let's keep on watching. Hello, my name is Monica and I'm an EOI teacher in the south of Spain. Do you remember today's first question? The question was, can would be used in the past? Let's take a look. When I was young, I used to visit my grandma every Christmas. Second example. When I was young, I would visit my grandma every Christmas. Do you think we can use both in this example? Yes, we can. We can use used to and would when actions happen repeatedly in the past, but they no longer happen today. Another example. When I was in high school, I used to play volleyball every week. Second example. When I was in high school, I would play volleyball every week. In these two examples, the verb is an action verb play and because they are actions that happened repeatedly in the past and they no longer happen today that's why we can use would and used to so the answer to question one is yes we can use would in the past let's now answer question two are used to and would the same when i was eight years old i used to have curly hair when i was eight years old i would have curly hair in this case the verb to have is a state verb not an action verb. State verbs refer to a permanent state and it's not something that we do but it's something actually permanent or quite permanent. For example, to have curly hair is a permanent state and it's not an action verb. So it's not something that we do for a few minutes but it's something that stays, that is permanent. So instead we have action verbs such as dance or cook or play which are action verbs that happen for a period of time. So with state verbs, we never use would, only used to. That's why our second example, when I was eight years old, I would have curly hair, it's incorrect because have is a state verb. Do you need examples of state verbs? There are so many in English, but I will show you a few of them. So take a screenshot so you can have a variety of them. Let's take a look at another example. When I was growing up, I used to have 50 teddy bears. In this case, I cannot say I would have 50 teddy bears because have is another state verb. Another example is when my sister's children were young, they used to be very naughty. In this case, we cannot say they would be very naughty because again, to be is another state verb. We are talking about something permanent and not an action. That's why would is not possible. Quiz time. So all the theory is nice and it's very good, but there's no better way to check that we understood everything by doing a quiz. Okay, are you ready? I'm going to tell you some sentences in Spanish and then I want you to think and say it out loud at home and then I'll tell you if you were right or wrong. Let's begin. Number one. Cuando estaba en el colegio, solía nadar todas las tardes. When I was at school, I used to go swimming or I would go swimming every afternoon. In this case, swim is an action verb, so both are possible. Number two, cuando era adolescente, era muy desobediente. When I was a teenager, I used to be very disobedient. In this case, because it's the verb to be, we cannot use would because be, as we said before, is a state verb. So I would be very disobedient would be incorrect. Number three, cuando estaba en la universidad, solía hacer pellas. When I was at uni, I used to skip classes or I would skip classes. In this case, to skip classes is an action verb and therefore we can use both. By the way, if you were not sure how to say hacer pellas or saltarte classes, make sure you watch my education vocabulary video. Cuando era pequeña, mi abuela no solía hacer galletas de jengibre a mí y a mis hermanos. When I was young, my grandma used to bake ginger biscuits for me and my siblings. Or, when I was young, my grandma would bake ginger biscuits for me and my siblings. So in this case, to bake is an action verb, it involves movement, that's why would and used to are possible. And the last one. Mi vecina era muy simpática. Siempre que la veía, solía sonreír y saludarme. My neighbor was very nice. Whenever I saw her, she used to smile or she would smile and say hello. In this case, smile is an action verb. 
therefore both are possible. So how did you do? I hope you did well. In a nutshell, remember that used to is used for everything, for repeated past actions that no longer happen now and also for past states that are not true today. However, would is only used for past actions that happened many times in the past. One final tip. You're probably wondering, but Monica, if used to and would can be used for past actions that happened repeatedly and no longer happen today, why would we have the two uh, possibilities? Why not only one? Well, the main difference, and it's a little bit small, but it's there, is that when we use would, we have a little bit of nostalgia, okay? We are being nostalgic, remembering something from the past. So for example, if you say, when I was young, I would cook uh, dinner with my father every Sunday, you are implying that you're very nostalgic about those moments and that you, re you are really fond of those moments and you really miss them. So it has that touch of, of, yeah, of nostalgia when you are reminiscing something from, from the past. So I hope this video is useful and now you're an expert on would and used to, I'm sure of that. So now I'm gonna show you a little summary, okay, of the distinction between the two. Be ready to take a screenshot. And now if you want to carry on improving your grammar please click here and keep on watching some grammar videos and if you haven't subscribed to the channel please do it over here thank you so much and have a fantastic day bye